Hey, what it do, everyday people, man? It's your boy PJ. Today, I'm back with another lit video, back in the confessional, and yeah, I'm staying lit. Back on YouTube, yes, man. I took a little hiatus, and you know what I'm saying. Things happen, you know what I'm saying. I gotta calm it down, but listen here, I'm gonna stop doing all the BS videos. We're gonna stay on some real stuff. Let's talk about a lot of toxic stuff. Get into some. Q and A, you know what I'm saying? Drop your comments below. Let me know what you think about these videos. We got three reactions. I'm gonna do something totally different. I was giving y'all one reaction. Now I'm gonna give y'all three. So stay tuned for all three. Pay attention. You know, it's always a good one. All right. So let's get into the first one. It's PJ Everyday Thing with PJ. I am not about to hold you. Okay. Let's get into the video. Who are these niggas? <laughs> Darius has been arrested 32 times and has taken control of New York City trains and some buses too more than 100 times. It is all for the same basic repeat offense. I'm really good with trains, mm. but I can't seem to figure out people. If you ask him about it, he says, I'm volunteering my time. I mean, as if he's a high schooler getting community service hours. It's a benevolent act. I was just providing a service to the public because oh, what is people doing? in your right mind actually go and take a train or a bus and actually bring it back. For the record, has Darius ever hurt anybody with his train obsession? No, Darius has never hurt anyone through his... Um... Darius is probably one of the first people with autism. That's what that is. You know, this, you know, they didn't diagnose it back in the days. We just had a bunch of Dariuses running around. We'd be like, man, something wrong with him. He a little slow. He got it. He got a little bit, but he a little slow. He do a lot of dumb stuff. That's autism, guys. And that we didn't we didn't really call it autism. So we got a lot of old people that's running around here that's grown and like Darius that's got autism. We ain't never impersonations of transit workers are taking transit vehicles and also for the record has he ever committed any other crimes outside of this now can just go open the door start the bus up and, and pull on out with the bus nobody would suspect anything because they probably think i'm just one of the drivers there's a security booth over here but guess what there's no security over here this time of day so it's like help yourself it's like self-service when you hear of crimes like this Hijacking a train, driving it, it's usually for some monetary gain or an act of terrorism. For Darius, it was for the joy of driving the train safely. All of his crimes were victimless. There were no crashes. He would Why are they showing this video <laughs> and throwing people off the train? You have some conductors who'll just say, Next stop is uh, 34th Street. That's not an announcement. My announcers were more so enthusiastic. I may be on the D train. I say, uh, "Good morning, passengers. Dynamite D train." Dynamite D train. <laughs> Sometimes you need to hear. He, th he thought he was an old hip hop head. Voice is going to make your day. I'm making people laugh. I'm making people feel like, all right, it's not just a train ride anymore. It's more like an adventure. Bro, he does take the actual train. That's crazy, big dog. Anyway, shout out to Darius. All right, so this next uh, reaction we're going to go through is not actually a reaction or a video. This is actually some shit I've seen on Twitter. So, you know, <laughs> if you're on Twitter, you know it get lit. But check this out. Man, this girl, actually, it, it, it used to be on Twitter. This page right here, Natty Bands, has been uh, suspended. That account is no longer there, so this tweet is not there. But this tweet says, told my baby daddy he should have died 22 years ago when his mama died. And he started crying. Man, I love these pics so much. They always cheer me up. All right, let me tell you guys. This is another one of those white women that uh, love, you know what I'm saying, tearing down a black man. And y'all don't even understand. But that I don't even think it's just a, a white woman. It's just... It's just women, period. But uh, let me let me let me let me break it down to you. I'm gonna go to her page and I'm gonna let y'all see some of her, and y'all gonna understand why. You know what I'm saying? Why he chose? Her. I don't know why he chose. Her. I'm gonna be honest. He, he he made a bad choice, but he's doing fine. Let me let y'all get an update of this guy. So his reply is: I appreciate all the support, but the negative energy being sent her way will ultimately affect my children and since i'm not there to filter it it will be appreciated if y'all just leave it alone so he's doing fine you know what i'm saying i'm gonna be honest he we, we go right to his page and he says you know 
For all those concerned about my feelings on my BM, Natty Bands post, I appreciate the love, but she didn't say that shit to my face. She took a sweet moment with my child and spun it for Twitter clout. So it looks bad. You know what I'm saying? She spun it for Twitter clout. And uh, yeah, that that was a... Uh, that was that, that would have hurt. Like damn, everybody tricked everybody, but that shit hurt. Listen, I had to go to this chick's page, cause they cancel her page. If you go to Natty Bands, you'll find Natty Bands, and then you'll see they ch she changed her name to with a Z, with a Z. Natty Bands. So this is Natty Bands now. Uh. You know, I don't know. She crazy. But anyway, she got some crazy stuff on her. I was just going to, I'm trying to scroll down to where she was at. She she do a lot of talking noise on people in, uh, on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Like, she be fixed that baby neck. Like, she ain't got no, she ain't got no sense. She talking about it. Looks like the corner crack head. But this is her. She got a dildo on her shoulder. I don't know what the hell that's for. But you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's not like she the brightest cookie in the world. But she did do that for Cloud. It was a white girl. She made that dude. She made that dude look bad, man. He got a lot of love and support for that because he looked bad. Like when you see that, you be like, damn, Shawty just said he should have died, and his mama, and then he just cried. Then that just lets you know it's a lot of hurt in that boy if that if some stuff like that happened. If a man just cry because a woman tell her something and he just cry to nowhere, man, it's some real pain in that boy. So let's get on to the next one, man. I ain't gonna hold you. All right, so this last and final clip comes from a lady who is uh, blaming her baby mother or her baby father for the unthinkable. Let's get into the video, okay? My children is dead. I'm done. I'm done with life. And it's all Jermaine's fault. It's always Jermaine's fault. I'm done. I'm killing myself. I'm done. My children is dead. So, yeah, anyway. If y'all can't see what's going on on the video, man, it's very gruesome. And the lady, she just committed a heinous act of uh, deleting her children. She deleted her children. And as you know, if you didn't see from the video where the blood on her shoulder, man, it's crazy. I think I sh I hope, I hope, I, I hope I don't get flagged again for this bullshit. But anyway, but yeah, just straight up, man, it's, it's just, it's crazy what a woman would do because a man is, cause she, like, over a man. What kind of penis did he have? Like, what did, why, what's going through this woman? A lot of these women have a lot of, uh, need a lot of help. When y'all always talk about us men need help and we need therapy, man, women do too, man. Because it's a lot of women that still try to inflict the hurt and pain on a baby father. The same shit that they felt like a, a man did to them, they try to do to them continuously. Like, my baby mama ain't shit. And she still continuously tried to inflict the hurt and pain that I caused her. She still tried to do that to me 10 years down the line, 12 years down the line with my kids. And this shit is retarded. Like, it, this is the next step when you got stupid women like that. You know what I'm saying? They, he knew that bitch was crazy. That's why he didn't want to be with her. And I bet you, I ain't gonna, I'm not going to give this man too many props because I don't know him and I don't know her situation because it seems fucked up but if that man took her to court and he wasn't allowed to see his children and she did this type of shit or he was you know she got the custody and whatever you know when she was keeping the kid man and this type of shit happened man I say we gotta hold the judges accountable we gotta hold the justice system accountable and they should be sued personally the judges should be sued personally. The courts should be sued. You know what I'm saying? That should be a civil case against the state. Every time a woman does this shit. Every time. And a man, every time a man take a woman to court and she do some wild stuff like this. Yeah. Sue her. Sue her. Anyway. That's what I'm talking about everyday people, man. So, man, I don't know when y'all gonna get to see this on YouTube or Facebook. Y'all gonna see this today. But not all y'all, because, of course, I still got two more days of restrictions. So y'all going to start seeing more videos, but only longer videos instead of the short three. You know, 
videos. We're going to see one long video every day. Every day, people, man. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to holler at you later. Peace.